Hey Leos, it's Sunny from Sunny Glow LLC and I'm here with your September 2017 reading. Please watch your rising, your sun, and your moon signs because those particular signs may make more sense to you during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please check out my website which is www.thesunnyglow.com. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support, your love. Really, really appreciate it. And if you want me to continue doing these videos, please continue to comment, like, and share, and show support and love on my channel and my business. And if you're willing to donate, that would be awesome. The link to that is in the description bar below. Um, I don't know where I got hot, and I hope you guys can hear me. But um, you guys may have issues with not heat maybe heat strokes um hot flashes is what i wanted to say um maybe you guys are going to be very hot this month in regards to looks <laughs> maybe some people are going to find you very sexy and appealing or maybe some of y'all like you're just going to be very hot tempered um things and people are going to get under your skin to the point where it's going to just really really test your patience all right but let me see what's going on for leo for this month i feel like the energy wants to be giving to you guys but i'm hearing under particular circumstances it's like you guys have to obey by particular rules whether it's from the universe or it's from someone else Maybe someone in particular is trying to bribe you into doing something or it's like, oh, I'll pay your rent if you do this for me. I help you out if you do this for me. Kind of deal. So I guess just be mindful of who you accept things from, especially in regards to gifts, because some people may be expecting a give me back or this may be vice versa. All right. I do see where some of my Leos you may be drinking during this time or you want to drink. And I feel for some of you, it's just like a stress reliever um, to calm your nerves down. I will tell you an uh, oil that's really funny. Um, that may help you guys out. Um, Spike Snard. I'm probably saying that wrong. But it's S-P-I-K-E-R. I know N-A-R-D. Sorry about that. So yeah, that herb, that um, oil and herb is really, really good for calming, um, bringing peace, and it's also good for mending love. Maybe some of you, you need to mend your heart. Let's see what's going on for the Leos for this month, September 2017. Give me 10 cards, what's going on for Leos? And y'all, please don't bother me about the little beeping. I can't control that, and it is what it is. Just ignore it the same way that I'm doing it. All right, but let's see what's going on. Some of you guys are pretending. Or maybe this is going to be a very interesting time for my actors and actresses. All right, so I am picking up for some of you there. It seems to be financial worries, but I'm picking up that they're more in your head. In regards to your finances, I do feel like money is coming in, but I do feel um, I'm hearing leftover, leftover. Um, maybe after you pay everything in regards to bills or maybe after you go through an unneeded shopping spree, <laughs> you may be looking at your bank account uh, and you're looking at the leftovers of your damages okay um i just feel like some of you guys are worried about money but i do see that money is coming in i feel like there will be good luck with money but i feel for some of you unfortunately some of you don't want to put in that hard work okay i'm also picking up in regards to career some of you guys may feel as if you're being used or you feel as if you're being taken advantage of. Same thing. Um, I want to say something else, but that popped out of my mouth. Or you feel as if you're um, like taken for granted. Like you, you feel like people don't appreciate you at work. Maybe some people are like piling their work 
on top of you. Maybe you are getting a lot of demands or people are expecting a lot from you, but they aren't really, you know, giving you that congratulations. They aren't really supporting you all the way. And it's making you question, is this worth it anymore? I do see where some of you guys, things may change around the 3rd, whether it's the 3rd of this month, the 13th, the 23rd, or the 3rd um, week of this month where things will change around. Or maybe for some of you within the next 3 months, you will notice a big change within your career. I do see where some of you guys, you may decide to get a new job um within the next three weeks or three months okay um i do see where some of you guys there may be sadness around the home or there's delays with moving there's delays with feeling stable within home for some of y'all you feel crammed um maybe you need more space maybe people are moving into your home maybe you're moving in with someone else whatever the case may be i just feel like there's crammed energy maybe some of you guys you need to um cleanse the energy within your home i just feel like uh, there's there's sadness there's sadness around the home i'm seeing where some of y'all maybe you've been fighting or arguing too much or there's like restless energy there's sleepless nights in the home i also feel where some of you guys may be attracting earthborn spirits or very wounded spirits during this time and they may be affecting the energy within your home um play thunder uh thunder lightning storm music you can find that on youtube um that's going to break up the energy or if you do have a ransom thunderstorm um open up your windows uh in order for that sound to break up stuffy energy I do feel for some of you there may be talks of a new baby. My baby's making noises. Okay. There may be talks of a new baby. Um, I do see where some of you there's a sense of traveling, but there's the <sighs> if you're going on a trip, I feel like it may not be as enjoyable. Or if you're moving, there's a sense of not being happy with the move or like having to wait. I feel like you guys are going to go through a very big waiting period um, during this time in regards to something that you really, really want. Really interesting because you guys have three fours in this reading. I just noticed that and they're very close together. So I feel like honestly, you guys need to be mindful of what it is that you want. Okay. And why you have to wait for it. I also feel like there needs to be more respect in the family dynamic, whether it's in regards to children, parents, um, or spouses. All right. Um, I feel like some of you, there may be a sense of jealousy. Either someone is jealous of you or you're jealous of someone else in regards to their accomplishments. Okay? And somebody may be evil on you or you may be evil on someone else during this time. Whatever issues that you need to deal with legally, just deal with them now. In regards to maybe debts, loans, um, court fees, whatever the case may be. Um, I, I feel for some of you there may be issues in regards to domestic violence. I hate to say that, all right, um, but I'm also picking up that some of you, you may have issues in regards to if you are dating someone who already has children, you may have to deal with um, the other party, like the like baby mama, baby dad drama, I hate to say it like that, um, or maybe you're dealing with this yourself, all right. Um, I do see where some of you guys, there may be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, who is going to support you or help you or maybe some of you you're looking after this earth sign person especially if this earth sign is going through a very hard time i feel like this earth sign purpose okay purpose i feel like this earth sign person their focus is on stability and finances as well and i feel like maybe your purpose for them is to help them possibly um 
but I feel like this is like this is like this feels more like a mother or like watching over grandparent um grandparents watching over grandchild I'm sorry I can't talk y'all I got so much on my brain like this reading is like it's a lot to take in okay um I feel for many of you there's a sense of you wanting a balance but you're going to have to let something go but I feel like this is more internally there is a sense of needing to change internally in order for you to receive the change externally and I feel like once you guys understand this full heartedly then there's going to be an ending that's going to bring in new beginnings I just feel like you guys need to shed. You need to shed your worries. You need to shed tears. Some of you guys need to let go of clothes. Like you have a lot of clothes. Okay. Or maybe some of you, you just need to let go of grudges and burdens. All right. I also feel for some of you, um, there may be talks of a new relationship coming into the picture. I feel like this person that may be kind of young or young minded. Um, I feel like this person that may be out for intimacy more than anything else. So just don't wear your heart on your sleeve in regards to new relationships, okay? Um, for those who are already in relationships, I feel like there may be still, like I'm picking up stillness in regards to you and your partner. Maybe um, the spark isn't there as much or things aren't ex or things aren't as exciting as they used to be. Um, but on the other hand, I feel like this month, this month is going to be like nails on a chalkboard, I hate to say. It is. Because I just feel like you guys are going to be very impatient and it's just like you want something just so much and I just feel like it's you're going to have to wait to get it. Because you're really going to have to let something go. But I feel like subconsciously you guys are going to have a hard time letting this go. So it's going to be kind of difficult, unfortunately. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I should be back for October. Bye.